Well, I don't have a tripod and it's pretty, pretty windy, so you guys are probably going to get blown over. The winches. We can hook up to that winch. I can do such you guys in the headlight here. Thinking that's about as good as we're going to get. We just purchased the side by side. Wind shock. I said, at our place, we need a winch. There's no ifs, ands, or buts, so we just. So there's the quad. Who knows? This could be. Coming over here, I saw a different cow track. Get out of here. Get! going to go up into the snowbank up to the quad. Tell you the trick. You do not want to let the quad quit now. This one doesn't have a pull cord on it. The battery's going to be dead. Guaranteed, it'll be dead. A calf laid down right there. I hope she doesn't crawl back out. Snow makes, uh, makes it a little bit difficult, but once this all melts, I'll tell you what, we're going to sure be grateful for that. We just pulled it up because the, the the all the vehicles drip and it's muddy and water back there so pull it up onto a dry spot here but we built this um, last week we built this grill guard here for it and just even today we had that cow come up against us and the rhino is a lot nicer the grill guard comes right out against the tire here um, 
but it all it doesn't have these bars and I've always wanted to put some sort of a bar here because a lot of times we run up beside a cow and I don't know if I'm going to need to take these fender flares off but that bar will be really nice it will protect we've had the hood come off the side by side the rhino before but this one's a wolverine special edition it's got the 850 uh, twin motor in it the rhino's got a 660 essentially the same and that the quad with tracks got on it but i'm glad this has got the good power for a quad because those are actually utv utv tracks we could bolt them on here but then you definitely need a good winch if you get the quad with tracks stuck Okay, we got that guy all mounted. Now we gotta run all the wires here. And what we're gonna run, what this one came with, kind of why we went this route, is this is a wireless winch remote. So it also has, that runs that solenoid, that wireless remote, and you can also plug in. I have this on the little ranch truck as well. This is the this is a toggle rocker switch here. So the rocker switch will be mounted down in here. Now the Rhino had a little tab to mount it on, but usually you mount it somewhere where your knee's not going to bump it. Over here is a little bit nicer. You could be his length, the whole length of the cable, like way out, way out away from it, and run the winch as well, which will be quite a quite a slick tool. Not that I look forward to the next time getting stuck, but this. Uh, this is probably one of the coolest tools that I've ever had, as long as I don't lose this remote now. Sure helps uh, winding the cable up really nice. Ready for the snow banks. Okay, little guy, go to mom. I'm gonna fall through, you're not falling through. Come on. <laughs> you're trying to get, let's go up to the... Okay, go up to the easy way. Now stop leading your calf into the snowbank. I had her on this trail. She decided to come into here. 